Weird place for an interview, Curtis. Witness requested we meet here. He thinks it's all a big game. I get the impression he's young. His mom answered the phone when I first called. Speaking of games, good cop or bad cop? Bad cop, definitely. Suits me. Call me Anonymous. We already have your name and phone number, dumbass. <lacht> ja, herzlich willkommen zurück zu Let's Play Law and Order. Wir sind wieder da. Themen: Alibi, guter Bulle spielen, Rachel FDP. We talked to some people at Mercury Telstar. You have a reputation there. People said you're good. Too good, maybe. We thought you might have done something illegal, but they said their security is way too tough for you to crack. <lacht> Please, I wrote their security. The firewalls, the protocol encryption, it's all me, Detective. So, you could crack a voicemail account? Stupid easy. What about deleting voicemails? In my sleep, Detective. And what did Mercury Telstar think of that? Uh... <laughs> Neue Themen wurden freigeschaltet. Rachel, Mercury Tester. Löschen der Sprachnachrichten. Ich frage mal nach. Nee, fangen wir erstmal nach, erst nach Löschen der Sprachnachrichten. So, why would a nice guy like you want to delete voicemails? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Curtis, can I tase this guy? Tom, I think you're starting to irritate my partner. You like games, Tom? Let's play a game. It's called Detective Benson Likes You for a Murder. I throw you in jail and you try to survive as long as you can against the drug addicts and the gang members who live there. You can post the results on your blog. I can picture the Facebook update now. I, I just... <laughs> okay, okay. There was another reason. Okay, weitere Themen wurden freigeschaltet. Ein anderer Grund. What is this another reason? Well, I was paid to access the account, of course. By who? I, I don't want to say. You better say, or do we need to call your mom and tell her you're running a hacking ring out of her basement? Oh, Jesus, no. Look, don't get her involved. That woman has enough problems. These people are powerful. Names. We need names. Hmm, Namen. I don't know their names. But you know they're powerful? How does that work? We only did business over the phone. They had their caller ID blocked, so I, you know, I, I never knew their names. Glauben Sie, Tom? Nein. Der wüsste doch, wie er das blockt, wie er die umgeht. James Gray sagte, Tom hätte Anruferkennung geknackt und so immer gewusst, wer ihn anruf. Genau das ist es. You're a terrible liar, Tom. Your old boss told us you know how to crack caller ID codes. You know those names, and you're gonna tell us one way or another. Oh. Ja, fragen wir eben doch mal nach Rachel, oder? FTP, Mercury, Telstar, Alibi. Where were you on Saturday night? Everywhere. Tom, we can go downtown right now if that's how you want to play it. Sorry, I was online. On a raid. Anyone corroborate this? About 20 warriors in my guild. Let me rephrase. Did anyone... Real see you? Yeah, my mom. I live with her. She was there the whole time. Er hat also World of Warcraft gezockt. Ich denke mal, er sagt die Wahrheit. Eine Mutter würde niemals lügen, um ihren Sohn zu beschützen. Äh, völliger Schwachsinn. Benson sagte, dass sie Toms Mutter von einem früheren Fall kannte. Detective Curtis weiß bereits, dass Tom bei seiner Mutter lebt. Tom scheint nicht der Typ zu sein, der auf das Haus verlässt. So, hat äh, gut funktioniert. Richtig gute Arbeit, Detective. Yeah, I talked to your mom on the phone already. She know you're out this late? Hilarious. Rachel. Did you know Rachel Trevino? She mentioned your name on her blog. She did? Oh my God, really? What'd she say about me? Does she like me? Does she want to meet? You sure you didn't know her? Or want to know her? I mean, you're smart, Tom. All you had to do was hack in, learn her secrets, get close. No, 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 it's not like that. But she still wouldn't have you. It drove you crazy. And then, things just got out of control. It's not your fault. Am I right? 
Wait, what's not my fault? What are you talking about? Look, you gotta believe me. I didn't know this girl. I don't know any girls. Hmm. Nein. Oh. Er hatte doch recht gehabt. Okay, FTP. Kennt wirklich keine Mädels. Sitzt den ganzen Tag wirklich nur vor WoW. Naja. FTP. So, Tom. How many uh, FTPs do you have? Where did you learn that word? You're using that word wrong. FTPs. Do you have them? Someone taught you a computer word and you're using it wrong. Just stop. <laughs> Entschuldigung, das war nur eine falsche Fährte. Mercury Telstar. Why would your old company accuse you of hacking? Mercury Telstar hates me. They'll accuse me of anything. I'm a rogue anarchist activist. Those accounts are my playground. And you hacked Rachel Trevino's. I don't know. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Why, why are you asking? Your old company seems to think you did, and you apparently possess the skills. No, I don't. I, look, I, well, for instance, I couldn't have gotten through their firewall, right? No way. The protocol encryption alone is just way beyond my skill. Natürlich nicht. Hat er eben gesagt. Tom sagte, dass er die Pixeldichte für die FTP-Datenpakete geschrieben habe. Tom sagte, dass er das Sicherheitssystem geschrieben habe. Genau das sagte er. Die Tom sagt die Leute, bla bla, ja hier. Der Tommy Boy, ey, das ist mir einer, sage ich euch. You're lying, Twerp. Totally not lying, Detective. Remember how you were bragging on how you wrote the security? Oh, <lacht> right. That gives you means. Now we just need motive and opportunity. Hey, wait a second. You didn't Mirandize me. I know my rights. Oh, Tom, this is just an interview, not an arrest. So sorry. Miranda doesn't apply. You know what? Playtime is over. You better start coughing up solid answers or I'm throwing you in Rikers, and your mom will have to spend her last cent to post your bail. Okay, okay, okay. But listen, I only hack the accounts to sell the voicemail passwords. Passwords? Plural? Yeah, I did a lot of them. Celebrities, politicians, you name it. Then I sold the passwords to this lady named Gwendolyn Scott. She's like a PR flack. Did she ask you to mess with Rachel's account? Yeah, I figured it was corporate espionage or something. You know, what do I care? Let the capitalist pigs brawl in the mud. Who's it gonna hurt? Rachel Trevino. Have a great night, Deep Throat. Ausgezeichnete Arbeit. Toll, sie hören ihren Detective-Stand. Super haben wir das hingekriegt. Falsche Werte. Na gut, das ist mir auch passiert. Gesamtzahl Haftstrafensterne. 16 haben wir da schon. Aber leider keinen Bonusstern bekommen. Naja, was soll's. We're going to start by what we call defining your moment. Gwendolyn Scott? Yes. I'm Detective Ray Curtis. This is Detective Benson. We need to talk to you for a minute. So sorry. I'm busy. It's important. My client is important. You can call my office. You know, a guy named Tom Newberry just gave me this girl's number, PR Flack. She likes to buy voicemail passwords and blackmail her clients. Maybe I'll call her instead. Five minutes. Was that fun, Detective? Sometimes I like to play rough. Well, so do I. But a little charm can go a long way. Naja, nett sein, bestimmt sein. Seien wir doch mal nett. Sorry, I promise this will only take a moment of your time. You're a busy girl. Thanks, I appreciate it. And I promise I won't make up extra questions as an excuse to talk to you longer. All right, Romeo, settle down. Ask away. Okay, dann wollen wir mal. Promi Clutch, Rachel Trevino, Tom Newberry. Fangen wir sie erstmal nach Tom. Do you know Tom Newberry? No. Nein. Tom Newberry sagte bereits, dass sie ihn kannte und für Passwörter bezahlte. Genau das ist das.
Problem. Richtig gute Arbeit, Detective. Because he knows you. That's how we got your name. A lot of people know me. Do a lot of people call you? Not the right people. Anrufe. So if I look up your phone records and Tom Newberry called you, and you talk to him more than once, now, would I be crazy to think you're lying to me? I'd say you were just jealous. Haben Sie das Gefühl, dass sie kooperiert? Nein. Leuten aus der PR-Branche kann man nicht trauen. Sie hat noch keine einzige Frage ehrlich beantwortet. Sie wird wütend und das Zeug von Schuld. Tom Newberry meinte, sie sei eine ziemlich schwierige Person. Ich mach mal das hier. I'm not the jealous type, Miss Scott, and I don't like playing games. You knew him. Fine. Yes, we did business. I paid him for insider information. Bezahlung. You paid Tom for what exactly? Passwords. I paid Tom for access to voicemail accounts. So you could delete Rachel Trevino's voicemails? Look, I really shouldn't say. Did you want to keep her quiet? Miss Scott, were you involved in her murder? No, no, I did delete Rachel's voicemails, yes, but I did it for someone else. On someone else's orders. Understand? Hmm. Okay, ich glaube ihr. Ihr Geständnis stimmt mit Toms Aussage überein, dass sie ihn für einen Telefonzugang bezahlt hat und er keine Sprachnachrichten gelöscht hat. Ihre Aussage muss wahr sein, dass sie sie belastet. Ihr Geständnis stimmt zu James Grays Aussage überein, dass Tom Newberry im Zuge eines Hackangriffs Sprachnachrichten gelöscht hat. Ah, das ist ja wohl was gar nicht. <lacht> ah, schade. Habe ich mich vertan. All right, I'm listening. Why don't you tell me a little more? Was someone else involved? Jemand anderes. Ich frage sie jetzt mal nach Rachel Trevino. Does the name Rachel Trevino mean anything to you? No, should it? She was murdered last night. We found her body at the Parkview Regency. Oh, poor girl. As if life isn't tough enough for housekeeping. For housekeeping, das wusste sie natürlich. So, und das Lustige ist ja, dass wir eben schon vorher mit ihr darüber gesprochen haben, deswegen ist dieser Dialog ein wenig überflüssig. Stimmt an ihrer Aussage irgendwer, dass ich ja. Was weiß sie über das Leben als Zimmermädchen? Woher wusste sie, dass Rachel ein Zimmermädchen war? Ja, das gibt einen extra besonderen Stern. I didn't say anything about her being with housekeeping. I must have read it in the paper. Nothing's been released to the papers yet. It must have been gossip. You know how these things get around, Detective. Natürlich glaube ich ihr nicht. Schön. Tom Newberry already told us you knew her. Oh, that Rachel. Of course. My mistake. I can be such an airhead. So, jetzt fangen wir sie über jemand anderes aus. Who asked you to delete the voicemails? A client. I really can't tell you. I'm gonna find out anyway. I'm actually pretty good at this detective thing. Ugh, well, crap. I guess it's all over for me anyway. Here's the deal. I gave Rachel's password and voicemails to my usual buyer, Alexander Baron. Alexander Baron, as in CEO of Wider Media? The Russian guy who owns like half the television stations in America? The very same. Baron bought Rachel's voicemail access for me a few weeks ago and then told me to delete them all. Ja, ich glaube ihr. Wider Media war in Rachels Notizbuch vermerkt, das stimmt auch. Das stimmt nicht. James Gray sagt aus, Mercury Terrace wurde zu Wider Media gehört, bla bla bla. Oh man. Media. Rachel wrote that in her day planner. It didn't click until now. Miss Scott, why was Alexander Baron interested in Rachel Trevino? She's a maid. He's a Russian billionaire. I, I don't get it. Rachel Trevino was not a hotel maid. She was an activist, a blogger, and she had uncovered some dirty, dirty secrets about Alexander Baron. He's a very bad boy detective. What did she find out? 
Baron has a problem keeping it in his pants, especially when it comes to housekeeping staff. We've had to cover up a few unsavory encounters. Rachel tried to set up a sting going undercover at the hotel, and I honestly don't know what happened after that, but I think she got in over her head. Did Baron kill her? And this is where my lawyer would advise me to keep my mouth shut. Come on, Gwen. Oh, now it's Gwen. I like that. Okay, look, all I'm gonna say is the Parkview Regency Hotel has a front desk, right? Ask them who stayed there on Saturday. Genau das werden wir auch machen, da mein Nachfragen wer da am Samstag war. Und äh, ja, das machen wir natürlich in der nächsten Folge, liebe Freunde von Let's Play Law and Order. Bis dahin.